This morning, we're taking a look into the recently updated CDC guidelines and what they mean for the risk of COVID-19. We talked to a doctor. We wanted to know about the concerns for the community. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott explains why they're now worried about children. Some health experts tell us they were shocked by the new CDC guidelines and say they're now causing some confusion. Because this is definitely an about face on all of our distancing and safety measures. The new guidance allows fully vaccinated people to remove masks and social distancing requirements, allowing them to return to many pre-pandemic activities. I understand why there's a push to do this. The hope is that if we do show and really highlight what everyone can do that's been vaccinated, it will increase the interest in and being vaccinated. But some doctors say they're worried about the timing of the new rules, wishing more people would have been vaccinated first and think this might be a little premature. So when we take away the mask and then we take away the social distancing and all the things that have been protecting us all this time, my concern is that yes, for sure, we'll see an increase in cases. Although the new guidelines only apply to fully vaccinated people, experts say people who aren't vaccinated are taking their masks off too. That's why doctors are now concerned about how this will affect kids because those are under 12 still can't get vaccinated. They say in many cases, kids tend to have little to no symptoms if they're infected and can spread the virus. For the kids, really truly the guidelines have not changed, but we need to be aware that there's definitely gonna be people out there in our environments who are not protected, they're not vaccinated and they've taken their masks off. Experts say they do expect some kind of increase in cases now that public safety measures have been rolled back. We'll be watching to see if that happens and we'll continue to track those cases for you on ABC. ABCActionNews.com. Reporting from Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News.